Welcome, to ViewChem, the Chemistry Animations Channel, Electroless Plating. In order to prevent the corrosion of an active metal, a noble metal will be coated on it. It is the concept of, metallic coatings. An active base metal, getting coated with, more noble metal. Electroless plating is, a type of metallic coating. Electroless plating involves, plating of a more noble metal, like copper, nickel, silver, gold, or, palladium, on active metal, without the use of electrical energy, in the presence of a reducing agent. In this process, the metal ions of the coating metal are reduced to, atoms of the metal, by a suitable reducing agent. Then, so formed metal atoms get deposited on the active sites of the coating metal. The important step in the electroless plating is, the creation of active sites, on the surface of the metal to be coated. This process may be accomplished by Electroplating of the base metal, with another active metal, associated with subsequent heat treatment. Or, etching the base metal, with an acid. Non-metallic substances, like printed circuit boards, or Plastics, are first coated with stannous chloride, and then, with palladium chloride, to create active sites. The main process can be visualized as follows. In a container, salt solution of coating metal is taken, metal cations are only shown, corresponding anions are not shown. Into it. The metal to be coated is introduced. To this solution, a reducing agent is added. Now, reduction of the metal ions, to metal atoms, takes place. So formed metal atoms, get deposited, on the base metal. The bath, for the electroless plating, should have the following constituents. The important constituent is, the suitable metal salt solution, to furnish metal ions for uniform deposition. A reducing agent to reduce, the metal ions, to, metal atoms, for deposition. Usually, sodium hypophosphite, or, formaldehyde, are used. Complexing agents, such as, EDTA, or, trisodium citrate, are added, to complex with metal ions, so that, the bulk deposition of metal ions, is prevented. A buffer, to maintain proper pH, for uniform deposition. Stabilizer, like thiourea, will be added, to stabilize the plating bath. Accelerators, such as, succinates, or, Fluorides, are added, to increase the rate of deposition. Brighteners like, cadmium, or, lead, are also added. Data on electroless painting of nickel and copper is presented in the following table. Please observe closely, the differences in each parameter. Pre-treatment. Metals like aluminum, and, cobalt, can be directly plated, while, tin, and, lead, require a thin coating of nickel by electroplating. Non-conductors should be coated with palladium chloride. Metals like aluminum, and, cobalt, can be directly plated. Non-conductors should be coated with palladium chloride. Coating solution. In the case of nickel, it is nickel chloride, while in the case of copper, it is copper sulfate. Reducing agent. 
sodium hypophosphite is used as reducing agent for plating the nickel, while, formaldehyde, in the case of copper. Buffer Sodium acetate, and, a mixture of NaOH and sodium potassium tartarate, are used, for plating nickel and copper respectively. pH 4 to 6, and, 10 Temperature About 100 degrees centigrade, and, about 25 to 35 degrees centigrade respectively, for nickel, and, copper. Reactions Properties In both the cases, the electroless plated material will have, good corrosion, and, chemical resistance. They are hard and solderable. Uses, or, applications Materials coated by electroless plating, with nickel, or, copper, are used in printed circuit boards. But, those plated with nickel, can be used in stainless steel tanks. Advantages of electroless plating are Non-utilization of electrical energy Better throwing power Uniform coating on all types of materials Improvement of mechanical properties, like, adhesion power, hardness, resistance against corrosion, and, chemical attack. Disadvantages of electroless plating are Slow rate of coating High expenditure and Unstable solutions Thanks for watching. Please, like, subscribe and share.